Hi guys, welcome to day five. It is raining a little bit here, as you can see from the floor, it's a bit wet behind, so we've head to the Mall at Millennia. So not as much to see, because we've actually ended up parking by a bit of a side entrance. Um, but yeah, so this is the big sort of posh mall here. So Alan's excited because he'll get his Abercrombie and stuff that he wants. But for me, it's a little bit high end. I like the cheap bargains. <laughs> but I'm going to head into Macy's, see what I can get. Hopefully there's some sales and things on, I'm not sure. Um, we shall see. So I will, once I get in the middle, I'll film a bit for you so you can see what it's like. And then obviously I'll show you what I buy later on. Later. You're happy Sophie? Yeah. Right guys, this is the middle of the mall, we're up on the upper level. Down here is Santa's Grotto, which looks so pretty. Um, along that end you walk along and you've got, what's the big department store? Bloomingdale's. But the food court here, which I think Alan's headed to, Starbucks. And then over that end there's a Macy's. Um, yeah, and this is just one level, it's obviously downstairs as well. Sparrow's so, you want to go to Sabaro, the Italian place. I think they're hungry. Okay, we're going to get some food, drink, and then we're going to shop, okay? Right. Even in Starbucks they do more exciting stuff than what we can get in the UK. Look how nice this is. I do like a Starbucks cup. I've got a few of these indoors already, and Shani's a massive Starbucks cup collector. And they've got some really cool ones here. What was that other one that was gold? Oh, this is quite a nice one with polar bears. Oh, Johnny would like this. She's got a thing for polar bears. How much is it? Fifteen dollars. Might have to come back and get it. Oh, Dad's got his drink now, is he? Look at these to hang on the Christmas tree. They're so sweet. Hi guys, I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear me very well, it's really noisy in here, but we just sat down for something to eat, we're in the big food court. Um, I've gone for some vegetarian sushi and Sophie's got her usual <laughs> a slice of pepperoni pizza. Not much changes, does it? And we haven't brought a lot, have we, so far? So far, all we've got is some goodies in Sephora, which I'll show you when I get home. Where's Dad? Alan's still up getting some food. He's over there getting a giant-sized wrap, I think. Can't see him. He's right at the back. But yeah, bon appetit. Morning, guys. Welcome to day... What is it? Six. Six? Is it definitely six? Mm -hmm. I think it's six. Sorry for not finishing yesterday's vlog. We did, we, it was thundery here and rainy yesterday, so we went only to the shopping mall and we actually didn't end up buying a lot because um, we just mooched around really, didn't we, and stayed indoors and avoided the rain. So Alan brought a few bits in Abercrombie and we got some Sephora stuff, so some makeup bits for me and Sophie, but that's about it. But today we're having a lazy day and we are staying around the resort. So this is where I am right now. If you look behind me, the I think they're called Sand Hill cranes you know the big tall cranes we saw them in May um, they're just here and Sophie's playing on the outside gym well sitting on the outside gym but the cranes are just here can you see that that red car's behind them um, we're gonna wander down we've found out that there's a little nature trail that goes around the lake here which leads on to a little private beach so we're gonna have a wander around and then see oh stop being shy <laughs> and see where it takes us. Nice. Sophie's nose is getting better, it's healed up a little bit now. She's got a bit of a scab, but she's okay. But yeah, let's wander around, look at the birds. They're so big, like super tall. Alan just went near them, apparently they start squawking, so I won't get too close. But they're funny things, aren't they? Oh, they're standing very still. Okay, let's carry on walking, guys. 
We've, um, I've just emailed our travel counsellor um, because our room is it's all it's quite small, I showed you it, you've seen it anyway, but the kitchen's quite small so I'm struggling to cook a little bit in there. So we've asked about possibly upgrading and going into a bigger suite. As you know my dad's joining us um, next week, I don't know, I've forgotten all track of what the date is. My dad's coming over on the 16th anyway, so instead of us having two like one bedroom suites like we've got now we might be upgrading and going into a two or three bedroom deluxe suite. We shall see which will be quite nice because it will give us a bigger kitchen area with a proper sort of island in the middle apparently so we'll hope that that happens but it might not it depends but it'd be very nice if it can but yeah it's nice just walking around the resort today it's so clean here and pretty it's actually nice to just rest their feet and have a bit of a chilled out day oh god Alan's trying to do exercises now there's going to be some sort of accident I can just tell <laughs> honestly <laughs> but yeah so this is where we're staying just over here um in one of the things here so we don't overlook the pool we actually overlook the back area here like in the lake which is quite nice but yeah apart from the kitchen being a bit small everything's really really nice it would just be nice because i'm trying to do so much cooking here rather than eat out all the time it'd be nice if that was just a bit bigger and had an oven because all they've got here is a microwave and um like a two burner stove thing which is fine I can make do but it would be nice to have a proper oven and cook properly but yes this is the first time we've walked down here which is actually really nice kids play park I don't know if this is the private beach or if it goes round I'm not sure there's little bikes over there that you can hire and have a little bike around we can apparently hire kayaks and go on to the lake which I might do for Sophie she loves kayaking so um, we might try and find out about doing that Got a volleyball court here but there is a nature trail so we shall see what that is as well yeah so far it's all going really really well feels like the days are going quite quickly it doesn't feel like we've been here any time at all and we're already on day six which is a bit worrying oh, need to take my shoes off my feet are sinking into the sand but it's really quiet here, not too busy, which I'm quite surprised at because I thought that in December it might be super busy here because um, apparently everyone comes down towards Disney for Christmas but it's actually really nice and quiet everywhere even in the mall yesterday there wasn't any, you know, not crazy busy so it was really nice very pretty lake we saw a big this lake which is here we haven't seen before but there's another one as you sort of drive out you drive past a lake by the entrance to our um, resort and we saw a massive gator in there the other day like proper big gator it's a bit scary there is a sign up saying beware of gators but you never really think that they're right there do you <laughs> but apparently they are oh look how pretty that is to do a little photo shoot with Sophie over there although she's not so keen on the photo shoots now she's got a big graze on her nose <laughs> yeah really really nice oh just put my shoes on the floor but yeah I should go for a bit as I say we're having just a bit of a chilled out day today relaxing and wandering around here I might fingers crossed head off to Hobby Lobby in a bit I've said to Alan that I might and I've written the postcode down to put in the Tom Tom so if we do go out and about I might try and sneak a little visit to Hobby Lobby um, but yeah obviously I'll bring you along with me see you soon bye I think it is very deep water. Yeah, that Must be deep for them big gators to live in. Huh? This is Sophie in her natural habitat, just trying to find Wi-Fi wherever we go. <laughs> no matter where we are, she has to connect to the internet. <laughs> again guys it's about four o'clock in the afternoon we've had a lovely day just chilling around the resort and laying by the pool and now we've come out and I'm at Hobby Lobby 
so excited. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't wait to go in. As normal, Sophie and Alan are thrilled to be walking around a craft shop with me. Although I do think that I'm going to be able to bribe Sophie a bit because over there there's a big Forever 21 that she likes as well. So I reckon I've got something to sort of sweeten her a little bit. Anyway, let's see what we can see. Can you get a trolley for us, please? Trolley. We've got one voucher for in here, which is a 40% off one item. So hopefully I can find something that's good. It's so big in here. Getting to the craft section. This is where they have all the paper pads. Oh, excellent. Let's scrapbook papers, packs, pads, single sheets and pages, 50% off. Result. Oh, look at all those collections. Oh, this is the best craft shop. There's also, if I remember rightly around here, oh, the paper, they're all half price as well. <laughs> All these papers, oh yes, all half price as well. Okay, let me shop and I'll show you what I am, um, what I buy. Oh, clearance rack, exciting. Okay, well, it's been about 40 minutes, would you say I was in there? It wasn't very long, I was very quick around Hobby Lobby, but I still managed to get quite a lot. Let me turn you around, this is my basket of goodies. I'll show you when we get home, but I got loads of paper collections. So excited! 64. 64. So 64 individual sheets of paper and then 13, 13 oh, collections. It might have been 16 collections. And just one punch, that's all, one punch. So not bad going in a short space of time. But yeah, I'll show you when we get in. Right, we're back at the outlet shops again, just killing a little bit of time. We've got about an hour to kill before dinner and also Alan wants to look at a jacket that he tried on the other day, a leather jacket from Diesel. So we're going back for a second look and as I say, killing a little bit of time. Give you a quick look around the outlet stores. Alan's gone in Oakley again, as always. Okay, we're in Diesel. What do you think? Should he get the jacket? <laughs> I really like it. Hides the belly. <laughs> He's happy. He brought himself the jacket. You don't need to do happy dance. People are looking. Okay, can we please go back and get some food now? I'm starving. This way, back to the car. I think so. Let's go. Okay, we're out for dinner. We've come to a place called Hash House, which is behind us. And it's been recommended by one of Alan's friends. Apparently they do, not that I'm going to eat it, but they do the best chicken here. Some sort of herby chicken. I don't know, Alan's friends messaged him and said, you must go there, it's really, really good. So yeah, it's called Hash House A Go Go. You see it up there? Oh, I'm not going to focus, but yeah, it looks a cool place. Never tried it before, so let's give it a go. That's right, the food has arrived. It's absolutely huge. I've never seen portions quite this big. 
<laughs> Look at the size of Alan's food. He's gone for this, what was it? Chicken Benedict, which is apparently was eaten by the man versus food guys up here on the menu. Yeah, fried chicken Benedict. I've got the hash with eggs, which is ginormous. And Sophie's got, uh, what have you got? Chicken, tomato, tomato it's meant to be a salad. <laughs> but I think the salad is just watermelon. And you've got onion rings, chicken, goat's cheese, balsamic vinegar. Looks lovely, but oh my goodness, it's huge. Guys, right, we're back. I'm back home now after that um, ginormous meal, which was really, really nice, but super filling. I'm now completely stuffed. <laughs> Sophie managed to eat most of her, hers. I ate most of mine, and Alan actually finished his, which I'm quite surprised at because that was absolutely massive. He did have to undo his trousers, but um, but yeah, he done it and then waddled back to the car. He's now having a lay down on the bed. But I wanted to quickly share with you what I picked up in Hobby Lobby. Quite a big haul, actually. Um, so yeah, done quite well. Um, and then I'm going to wrap up this vlog and upload it all ready for you to watch. So let me turn you around. Just use the light in here. It's not actually it's not too bad on camera. I think it looks all right. All right. So this is everything that I brought. Um, I brought this EK Success punch, um, which as you know, EK Success is the same, um, or the, they're who make Stampin' Up! punches as well, so these sort of go along with my Stampin' Up! ones that I've got. So just a cluster of stars. It was 15 99 but I had a 40% off coupon, so I got this with my coupon, so it's quite good. I brought these thickers. Again, there's two of everything. Um, so just these thickers for me and Shani some words really nice font just quite liked them just a gold font so two packets of that i had a big haul of just wood grain papers so there's i think sophie counted this for me i think there's 16 sheets of each type here so the pale wood the more natural the sort of um whimsical wood grain and then that one that was all they had i know shani you wanted me to get more for you but this is all they had so i've got 16 pieces of each there's eight for each of us so quite a lot of wood grain paper, quite a chunk of paper. And then mostly I got all these collections, which as you know, they were 50% off or half price. Um, and they're only $10 anyway. So these are working out just um, $5. So about, I don't know, four pound odd. Um, and you get, do you get 20 pieces of paper? Um, what do you get in there? Um, well, it changes. This one says six sheets of 12 by 5 double sided designer cardstock, six sheets of design of double sided element pieces, and oh, so they're like cut apart sheets, and then also some stickers, um, and a 12 sheet of fundamental cardstock stickers, and a 12 by 12 sheet of expressions cardstock stickers. Okay, so two lots of stickers. So this one, I guess, with letters on, this one with just bits and pieces, cut apart sheets, and then papers as well. So, as always, I've got two lots of everything. So, two lots, one for me, one for Shani, of Simple Stories Summer Vibes. So that's the, that's everything in there. And there are the stickers that you get with it. Two lots of, what is this? This is Like a Girl. Um, I don't know what brand this is. This is just by Photoplay. I've not heard of them before but yeah nice it's a sort of corally and mint color the lights not the best in here that's the one thing about this villa actually it's got really bad lighting it's all right during the day when the sun's out but at night it's like pitch black in here um but yeah so again papers cut aparts and then these stickers really nice two lots of this one which again is that photo play brand and it's called family ties so you've got all those papers there, and the stickers are there. That's a nice one. It's always, if they're family type ones, they're always good to use. Two lots of this pirate one. This is, is this Echo Park? Mm, yeah, Echo Park. Um, yeah, it's a one for me and one for Shani again, which is a boys little pirate one. It doesn't particularly have to be pirate though. A lot of it could be used just for sort of nautical themed things. So the blue and white stripes. And again, you get stickers. Quite sweet, they are quite good. Don't know, we have to take the kids out on a pirate themed day. But you get an alphabet and everything in there, cut apart sheets, so two of those. Two lots of the travel one. This is called Getaway. This is again Echo Park. 
This is a little bit more darker colours than I normally go for, but quite good for like a men's layout. And obviously it's travel, so it's quite easy to use. And these are the stickers. Quite nice. And then these ones, I think, yeah, they only had... Oh no, this is another two. They're Fancy Pants Flutter. This one's more just papers and you get a sticker sheet but then you also get like these epoxy um, alphabet which are actually really really nice. So for like £4 odd this is such a bargain. You're getting all this paper plus stickers plus like um, letters as well. So one each of those. And then lastly I picked up this one. There's only one on the shelf so I got this for myself. Sorry Shani. Um, but sort of nautical themed. It is authentic. Um, seaside authentic seaside collection so you get I think you only get a 6 by 12 sticker sheet though by the looks of it but you get papers in there and a cut apart as well so really good and that is it that is my little haul for the day the trouble is with this lot though it weighs an absolute ton that's probably all my luggage allowance is going to be that big lot of paper but it was worth it as it was half price so yeah it had to be brought but that's it that's my haul for today i'm probably not going to buy much more craft stuff because this is starting to weigh quite a lot and we have obviously got to get up to new york and you know we're going to buy more other bits and pieces so probably for craft stuff that might be it having said that i haven't been into um joanne's yet so we've got joanne's to check out if there's any bargains in there i'll grab them when we go in but i'm not desperately worried i feel like i've got a good lot of stuff oh and of course i've still got to go up to my favorite things and pick up all the stuff from there as well so yeah probably filled my suitcase up now already but never mind anyway so i shall wrap this up for tonight and i'll see you again tomorrow for day seven i think it is i'm losing count i've got no idea what day of the week it is and i'm losing track of the days but it's really good today's probably been the nicest day weather wise it's been beautiful out there and it was so nice just sitting around by the pool excuse the noise if you can hear it in the background sophie's just got in the bath and she's put the jacuzzi on so it's really loud. <laughs> Anyhow, night night guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.